Well, we are. This is going great. Just fantastic. Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars. This keeps up all our profits are just going to keep it flying. I know, but she's been with us for ages. I'm glad you brought that up. No, and yes, there's a lot of work out there that requires a capable fighting ship. But the real success comes from UC military contracts, which we would hope to attract by building a higher-end version of this ship platform for them. We'd want to give it strong weapons, tough defenses, plus good speed and maneuverability. Most Starfighters are fairly small, and the tricky part is keeping costs down with all those fancy modules. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll be able to convince the others that's what we should go with. Ah, we'll talk later then. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of... favor? Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but, um... <laughs> uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? Good. We were worried you knew nothing and this would be a complete disaster. As long as you are willing to listen to us, we may still avoid that outcome. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? I'm the most senior designer on this project, for one. Despite all the acclaim he gets, I actually referred Frank to his current design position. He and I were in the same design program when we went to get our degrees back in uni. We support each other as friends as much as possible. Even when we disagree, I love my job here. But I dream one day of working for a small startup or running my own design firm so I can work on custom ships instead of mass-produced products. Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current Starship market? Well, you're not fun. My idea is a little less... conventional. I believe we should invest in making a dedicated exploration ship, marketed towards citizen scientists. Sure, we and other manufacturers have lines of exploration ships, but none built with the average consumer in mind. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. Um, did you just check out of this conversation? I'd start with a small ship profile. It won't need much storage or passenger capacity. 
Then, of course, you would want an advanced grav drive to reach deep space and plenty of energy for extended flights. In order to keep costs down, it likely doesn't need expensive weapon systems or defensive measures. It won't need those where it's going. And of course, high-end scanners and other scientific equipment is a must. Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Why do I feel like answering this could be a trap coming from someone who was sent here by Walter to step in and take over our project? Ah, it's not like I have anything to hide. I used to think working for a super wealthy corporation would be terrible, but honestly, it's pretty great. They've been good to me, and the stability is way better than any startup. I've had opportunities I wouldn't have anywhere else, so yeah, pretty great. Well, as a senior designer, I'm trusted to work on some pretty important features on these ships. Most of my work is on the technical features, designing them to be more user-friendly. Computer systems like navigation, targeting, you name it. It may not be as glamorous as what Frank does, but without me, these ships would be almost impossible for the average consumer to actually use. See you around. I guess. I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Uh, well, how do I put this? My co-workers are, are smart people. But between you and me, they're in way over their head with this project. Uh, Jules, especially. She's new at being a project lead, and has insisted we design by committee, so everyone's voice is heard. Admirable. But no one could agree on anything, and we're running significantly behind because of it. Well, quite the opposite, actually. See, I don't care who makes the decision, so long as someone does it. And said proposal doesn't make me regret getting into engineering, you get me? Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. Let me tell you, all the creative minds around here are so concerned with designing the most innovative and fancy ships possible. They never stop to think about the kind of work it takes to do that in a reasonable time frame. Yes, we're engineers. Our job is to make the bloody impossible possible. But that doesn't mean it's easy or practical. That and there's never enough of us to go around. <sighs> Couldn't figure it out from the engineering tour? I'm an engineer, mate. It means I'm the one who's got to put together all these plans and actually make the bloody ship fly. Been doing it for going on 25 years at various star yards. <laughs> they still haven't realized this place would fall apart if not for me. And instead of letting me get to my work, they keep giving me fancy new titles and got me tied up in endless meetings like this one. Truth, and we need it. 
The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Our objective should be to build a huge ship with plenty of cargo room while keeping the cost low. Doesn't need fancy equipment, just the basics. Basic weapons, basic defenses, basic scanners. You get the idea. If we go with a design like that, I can focus on quality construction and the ship will practically sell itself. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. I assume you mean the company and not the people. Because even if I didn't already think so, I'd tell you that both Walter and Issa are great. The company is still kind of young as far as Star Yards go, but it seems to be going in the right direction. Despite what it may look like. I've been doing this for a while at other Star Yards, and so far, we're avoiding a lot of the mistakes some of the older corps have made. <laughs> yep, that's me, innit? Been here since the start of the company. Done engineering for going on 30 years total. Though I keep telling them, it's senior, not lead engineer. I've got no interest in being lead. Too much management. Not enough tactile work. <laughs> and yet here I am, resigned to my fate on the R&D team. Nope, not really. I like to think I don't have the ego for it. I've got nothing to prove, and I don't rightly care to make my mark on the industry. But all I want to do is build the best damn starships I can. Not get bogged down with all the excess particulars. But upper management loves the work I do. And they wouldn't let me say no to this. I guess they needed someone to keep everyone's heads out of the clouds. So here I am. Good thing we ain't in a big hurry, right? Later, mate. I'm actually kind of amazed we finalized the budget. It was relatively painless. You know, I have designed spacecraft for over ten years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. My hope is that he sees the passion in our work. In truth, I know he values me, but he has yet to truly cut me loose from the corporate reins and let me do as I wish. But I understand Walter has given you much greater control of our project. Perhaps I can learn from you and convince him I'm ready for the same. As a designer, I see the beauty in our craft and deliver that to the consumer. My desire is to make flying in our ships a joy to all the senses. I have won awards. I am proud of my work. 
but I do not like to brag. Rather, my goal is to change the board's perception of employees like myself from mere cogs in the corporate machine to value us as artists and let us do as we please. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. High-end performance. Precision engineering. A spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. The ship should be mid-size, spacious, but not bulky. We'll want to build it with the highest quality, most expensive modules available. It should feel safe, but not threatening. Focus on defensive measures, not aggressive weaponry. Above all, you should be able to picture your favorite celebrity, or Walter himself, flying this ship and influencing others to buy as well. Today, sometime? I'm glad you agree. Such an ostentatious luxury craft will be the envy of everyone in the settled systems. Are we waiting for something in particular? Have you seen the specs on the Adonis? I'd rather be in the ship that can defend itself. Because I am the lead designer on the project. It is literally my job to design it. It is frustrating because I keep getting pushback. And Jules has this idea that we will make a better product by designing it all together. Since everyone has equal say, it led us to a standstill. It was much easier before. Just because I do not like how corporate we have become, doesn't mean I don't like getting paid. Besides, with every successful ship I design, I believe I can influence the company to shift away from typical corporate bullshit and back to taking risks by pursuing art and innovation. Then again, here we are. Is this a joke of some sort? Afford a new 
cruise ship. The repairs on our old ship just keep piling up. If this keeps up, all our profits are just going to keep it flying. I know, but she's been with us for ages. We got a business to run, no time for sentiment. Well, I do like the ships we're looking at. Is this a joke of some sort? Two words, conspicuous consumption. Are you familiar with this concept? Of course you do. I'm glad you understand. Imagine someone like Borealis stepping out of one of our shining luxury ships. Everyone would want to look that cool. Not only would I have the chance to work on a dream ship, but that kind of exposure is guaranteed to sell it. Hmm. See you. That data from your ship is going to be critical to our design process. Assuming you can handle the missions. Everyone's got these big, flashy designs. And I'm supposed to come up with one too, but like, I don't know if it's as good or like, good at all, even. about it. So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? Hmm, I haven't thought of all the details, but... I'd imagine lots of passenger space would be a top priority. A mid-sized ship with enough room for one... Ooh, or maybe even two or three families to spread out and relax. I don't think you'd need any fancy weapons or scientific equipment, so it should be pretty affordable. Families don't want to spend a fortune, so keeping the cost low will help guarantee plenty of sales. If you're waiting on me, I, I, I was done talking. I used to go off-world camping with my family when I was a kid. The other families we met always complained their ships weren't quite adequate for family vacations. They never had enough room, and the kids would always fight. I've done some market research, and like, no ship manufacturer seems to be making ships for things like this. Which means even if the demand is low, we can fill this niche and still sell a lot.
Really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. So far I do. But, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I feel like I'm in a little over my head. I, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. But my bosses really seem to like my work, so... I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm doing something right. <sighs> I still feel weird pitching ideas to people who have been at this for so much longer than I have. Interesting. <laughs> I'm new, and I've never done anything like this before coming here. M marketing for ships, specifically, that is. There are so many things to think of for different demographics, like style, features, cost, and all that. And you also need to think about offensive and defensive capabilities, because space is dangerous, and people need to feel like the ship they're buying is safe. Yeah, I've only been here for a few months. I did a little marketing for Chunks before this, but it was really more of an internship. <laughs> Ships are like, totally different than that. I applied for the job here on a whim because I thought it'd be fun. I never expected to be hired. Everything okay? <laughs> uh, see you later. I came out of curiosity. class of ship here. Still, to go from literally I can't nothing, believe Stroud pulled this off. Have you seen the specs on the bombs? I'd rather be in a ship that could defend itself. I don't want to be a target. Maybe this. The place is something else. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Huh? Uh, sorry, I was lost in thought.
and clear for flight. I appreciate the desire for independence. These people are quite vulnerable.
any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? If I were Tile, I'd be very concerned about the new Stroud Eklund models. I'd like to believe that you can help my team work well with each other again, but we'll see. Versatility may not be what certain customers are looking for. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> Because I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't, and as long as I'm being honest, it's kind of my fault. I had this idea that we should all collaborate on the design because I thought it'd give us the best results, and I'm not willing to give up on that idea. But it's made this challenging because it made everyone equally invested and no one wants to give up anything. You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team-building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? Okay, for real. It's mostly been just a bunch of arguing. First, we tried a group brainstorming session, and that went about as well as you can imagine. We tried individual designs, but that backfired. We've had meetings focused on individual aspects of the ship, and that just prolonged the process. I could've put my foot down and made a decision, but then I'd be giving up on my idea that collaboration will build us the best ship. That, and I don't want anyone to resign because of me. Hmm... I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked you to take the lead on this, I don't have to be the villain here. So you're sure about this? Great! Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally! I thought it was obvious. Until now, that's how it's gone, but no one's relenting. Wait, you didn't mean actual physical fighting, right? Nah. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Our friend here, remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. Uh, you're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Oh, look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh... I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment. As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe? Yeah, that should be okay. Frank? Mm, okay, fine, you win. I'll cut out some of the luxury designs and features. All that gold trim was going to be tacky anyway. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. Well, we're making progress now, I guess. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of... stuff to it. I hope not, but it's possible. If the ship sells well enough, the board will have no problem increasing the budget next time. The data you gathered for us will last a while too, and I think I picked up some useful techniques from you to help us work together better. This ship's going to be big, 
and it's going to have the best components available. I'm sure it'll be very capable of handling any situation thrown at it. This thing is going to be a beast, and I don't know how we're going to make it look halfway presentable. My only other concern comes down to the sticker price, and how we're going to actually sell such a monstrosity. But that's marketing's problem now. Poor Nev. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. Comforting. Important or not, I'm ready to listen. Yeah, what's up? Quite enjoy New Atlantis, but this, <laughs> this is much better. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I'm expecting big things from you with this ship project. Don't let me down. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the Star Yard. Thanks again.
these rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with people. Need some work done? Sure, how about it? Anything I can help you with? Sure, how about it?
Raider provides excellent coverage, both defensive. Smart. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Trust you'll help yourself to anything you're so far. 